Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Car Security here. I'm at GVE London in Uxbridge. Pick up my uh, Toyota Yaris GR, which I dropped off about a week and a half ago to have PPF done. Uh, we're gonna go over what panels have been covered in PPF. PPF, paint protection film, we'll go over that shortly as well. So I'm here with Nick. Nick sort of runs that department, the aftermarket department of GVE London. And uh, we'll see what he's done and get back to CAS, that's Cardi Security HQ, and we'll talk about some of the other security elements that we've added to the vehicle since our first video. So let's bring Nick in and we'll talk about the car. Hey Nick. Hey Raj, how you doing? Good, good. Good to see you again. Thank you, yes, again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, last time I was here, I was picking up my 964 Turbo uh, after I had it painted and gave it to the guys here to put PPF on quite a few of the panels. If you've not seen that video, we'll throw a link in. You need to watch that. And my uh, facial expression shows that I was blown away when I picked that car up. Now, obviously I've already seen this car. It's a brand yeah. new car, it's done yep. 50, 60 miles. So I know it looks good. Will I see a difference when you reveal it? Hopefully not. <laughs> um, okay. You know, the, the, the purpose of PPS is a paint protection film that's yep. sort of like invisible as such. So yes. you put an invisible film on the car to stop it from stone chips. Um, scratches, all that sort of stuff in the car. Um, as you see when we pull it up, we've done a trap pack on this car, and um, I'll go around the areas and show you what we've done on it. Okay, so ready to reveal, yeah? Yeah, go for it. One thing, it certainly looks clean, especially under the lights. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Nick, this is obviously your department now. It is, yeah. So um, um, we've done a full trap pack on this car, um, which consists of headlamps, wings, front bumper, all the little sections here on the bumper, some of the sections on the front grill here. Also, door mirrors. Okay. So the, A pillar. So the caps, basically. Yeah, the caps have been covered as yep. well. Yeah, and the A pillar, um, which stops, which hard to, around here. Okay. Um, which is actually hard to see unless you look at it close. Yep. Um, Toyota, um, on the GRs, they put a a really small PPF on this section to stop stone chips and yep. it probably stopped one stone but not all of them. We put the whole section on there which ends there so it goes all the way around here all the way to there and we've also covered this whole seal section on this car. Okay. That is not part of the track pack but obviously done that um, as you recommended you want yep. the seal packs done okay. as well so that's it and obviously um, a good clean on the car for you as well. Okay so for those of you wondering why have I PPF a brand new car where's well, the best time to be fair protect the paint. So this car will be used by myself and by the staff and we'll use it through autumn, through winter and we will track this car. So yes, we will take it to some circuits, track the car, use the car. Last thing you want are stone chips to damage the paint. The paint protection film protects against stone chips. So best to do it when you got buy, buy a brand new car before you even run the car in. Give it a good polish. In some cases, ceramic coat the car. We've paint protected it as well. So Nick, I'm going to get out of your hair. So no problem. Speak. Thanks again. Uh, no, I appreciate that. I've got to come back in three weeks. You just three want... weeks time for just to quick, do a quick inspection on the car. Make sure everything's sure settled on it well. Um, uh, yeah, we'll get the car clean at the same time when it comes in. And brilliant. Thoroughly recommend these guys. We'll drop a link below. Uh, give them a shout. Give Nick a shout uh, if you want any paint protection film or any other. Yeah, we do um, body shop. We do wrapping. Um, we do paint repairs. So, okay. You know, you name it, everything. Okay. See you back at Cass HQ. Hey guys, car's ready. Nick's done a great job here at GVE. I think it's time for me to get back over to CAS HQ. Um, we'll go over the security in a few minutes and, and advise you all the security updates we've done since episode one. But for me now, I need to start getting some miles on this car. So I'm probably gonna go the long way around, maybe M25, which I don't really need to, just to get some miles on the car. See you back at CAS. Okay guys, uh, back at Car Security HQ, Yaris GR is here, PPF done, thank you GV Detailing. Let's talk about the security. Now, one great feature on this car, 
which actually is a negative for security, is keyless entry and keyless go. What is keyless entry? Well, the key fob for this car is in my pocket. Touch the door handle, in I go, jump in, and I can uh, start the car. There you go. That's keyless entry and keyless go. So why is that feature a negative? Well, the problem is a lot of thieves now using relay technology grab the signal from your key fob, even if the key fob's inside your house, using software and a laptop, open your car and start your car and drive off. And you won't be none the wiser until you get up the next morning, ready to go to work and your car's not there. Yes, you can use a Faraday bag and protect your uh, car by putting the key in the Faraday bag. That does help, but some of these Faraday bags don't actually do the job very well. You can fit a tracker. Now the advantage of a tracker is if somebody does steal your car or if somebody puts it on the back of a low loader, the tracker company will contact you. The problem with a tracker is that if thieves gain entry into your car using the radar technology, your tracker doesn't wake up because the car thinks you've opened the car using the key fob and you've started the car using the key fob. So your tracker doesn't wake up. So we've gone one step further. We fitted Smart Track Category 5 tracker to our vehicle, to our Yaris GR. Now, we think it's the first Yaris GR in the UK to have Cat5 tracker fitted, enabled and working. What is the difference between a Cat5 tracker and a normal tracker? Well, the Cat5 tracker immobilizes the vehicle one step further than a normal tracker and also has a tag or a card which comes with the tracking. Now, if the car does not see the tag or the card inside the cabin, it will not start. So in the event of a thief grabbing your key fob code, they may be able to get into the car, but they won't be able to start the car. Now I've, I've got a tag or a card. I'm not gonna tell you what I've got, for obviously for security reasons with this vehicle. I've now put that away from the car and I'm gonna show you that it won't start. So I've got the key fob in my pocket. I'll lock the car. The car's locked. Unlock the car. I'm gonna try and start it now. Okay, so I'm trying to start the car. Clutch is depressed. Pressing the start stop button. It is not starting. Keys in my hand, so I'm not lying. Obviously, this works. It means that there is nigh on impossible for somebody to steal this car. Obviously, you can jack it up and put it on a low loader, but the moment you do that, the tracker will wake up. The tracking company will know. I'll get a phone call that your car's on the move and then obviously you know what, can, what we can do from there. Now, category five tracking is available for most cars. It's obviously available for the Yaris GR. If you've got a Yaris GR, drop us a DM, send us an email, and we'll talk you through what's involved in the costs. Any other vehicles, again, drop us a DM or give us a phone call. All the details will be at the end of this video and we can go through all the tracking solutions that are available for your particular vehicle. Okay, guys, let's talk about the dash camera. Why have I installed a dash camera? Well, ultimately a dash camera will provide any incident or accident information, vital information, prove who's responsible. Hopefully it's the third party that's responsible. Uh, you can then download that data onto your phone and send that to your insurance company. That obviously means that if it is third party's fault, let the insurers argue it out. You don't need to worry about it. Now, what have I fitted in here? I fitted the Thinkware F800 Pro. You've got the front and rear dash camera. Both of them are 1080p, full HD. You can see from the images here, it's a stylish, sleek design. The front camera only weighs 104 grams. Both cameras give 140 degree wide angle lens. So as soon as you turn the ignition on, the dash cameras activate. Now, they are recording straight away so there is no downtime it's not like a software boot they are automatically recording it'll give you a voice prompt in about there you go you've got a 32 gig sd card which is included with this kit you can increase the size of the sd card i think to 128 you'd have to download some software if you do you just can't bung in an sd card and hope for it to work this is the hardwire kit so we've got no nasty cables that are running down from the screen into the cigarette lighter the hardwire kit the wiring has to be uh, routed down to the fuse box. It's a bit of a professional install, especially on a new car.
Okay, so whilst you're driving, it's automatically recording. Videos are saved in one minute segments. And if there is an incident or an impact, the camera will re hard record the 10 seconds prior to the incident and will then continue to record after the incident as well for a fixed amount of time. The camera also has motion detection built in. So say for example, you, you go shopping and you park the car in a Sainsbury's car park. If somebody was to hit your car, if you didn't have a dash cam, you come back to your car, you wouldn't know who's hit it if they've driven off. But with the dash camera, you should theoretically have caught that particular car reversing or forward parking. You will, you will see that your car has had an impact. It will record that. And then obviously from that, you should be able to get the registration mark and so on, which is pretty cool. Also with the uh, parking mode, if the vehicle's parked, say on your driveway, and you think somebody's come to your car uh, middle of the night and they've tried to gain entry or access into the car, it would have actually recorded it because the motion detector would wake up and start recording whoever it may be that's around the vehicle. Another cool feature on this particular Thinkware camera is that it provides uh, red light alerts and also speed camera alerts, including mobile speed van alerts. So if you're in an area that you're not familiar with and you don't know if there's a speed camera there, yes, Waze and Google Maps, you know, CarPlay will give you that information, but that tends to be more of a visual guide. This will give you an audible guide. So if you're near a camera, it will tell you that there's a camera in 100 yards or 200 yards. It'll tell you the speed that you need to be at so you can adjust your speed accordingly and hopefully, therefore, you don't get flashed. Okay, so that, that was a, well, we, I knew that speed camera was there, so that's why I took this particular route, just to demonstrate that, that feature. So I'm not gonna go too deep and too technical into the features of this Thinkware a dash camera. We will throw out another video at some point outlining other Thinkware dash cameras. We also do other brands as well, so just keep an eye on the channel for that. But um, let's get back to card security and let's talk about the next stage of the GR Yaris. Okay guys, that's the security aspect of the GR Yaris done. Smart track category five tracking system and Thinkware dash cameras front and rear. Any questions you have, any comments, anything about the tracking, anything about dash cams, obviously comment below. Any questions, you can, can obviously email us. There are links at the end of this episode. Um, now, the next episode will be the audio episode. So obviously we've done the security, we have to now improve the audio. The audio is not so bad in here. It's actually pretty good, but it's lacking some depth. So we're going to change the speakers and we're probably going to add a subwoofer. Yes, we're going to add some weight, but we'll talk about that in our next video. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you again soon.